Welcome back to Let's Play Legend of K. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I've noticed on this pause screen that I seem to have six lives. I don't know where I got the third one up. Oh, yes, I do. Do I? I found one in a chest. I think one of them just dropped out and didn't. I don't remember for sure. Whatever. The point is, I have six lives, and that's better than I thought I was doing. So, hey! It's a nice way to start the video. Oh no, what will I do? Sup, how's it going? He seems happy enough, but I think I can see through his lies. Yeah. I guess that's what happens until you have one facial expression. It's great you're here. I had the chance to overhear a conversation with Tack. He has found a way into the dragon cave and has already set off. In my experience in dealing with uh, magic, it's really best to deal with the letter of the law and not try to cheat things. In this case, <clears throat> Tech may be standing in the dragon's cave, but I don't think the dragon will give a shit because he's not the guy who, uh, put the dragon eyes in the statues. Failing that, I'm supposed to have a boss fight. Well, now I have the Dagron eyes. I guess I should have started here. Oh, for fuck's sake. I have to say, I was actually kind of disappointed by that reward. I mean, the money's nice, but a temporary increase in armor and money doesn't really seem like that great a reward to me. I was hoping for, you know, something permanent. Like, if I go out of my way to do... to track down all those stupid statues... You know, congratulations, you did it, here's a magic... You know, here's a magic point container. No, spend it all in one place. Whatever that means. Uh... And this is the one I already did. Piss drink. I never need her to go back here at all. Yes, yeah, I don't think there was much we could do about that. Ah, oh, hell, I went the wrong way. Get up! I mean, I appreciate the inexplicable rings of invulnerability. That would be the part in... You know, I hate to constantly refer back to it, but that's really what this game is. It's, you know, this game is Linear Zelda. That would be the part in Ocarina of Time where Link is flashing red. One of these things now that I have both the eyes. Okay, so one of them is in here. Where the fuck is the other one? 
Fuck you, fish. Oh, yeah, okay, that works. You communist son of a bitch. Ah, fuck. Like, actually, I guess in this setting, everyone's an imperialist. I don't know what the free peoples would be. Collectivists, I guess. Fuck you, camera. Well, it didn't go very well. I remember one of the Steam reviews for this game suggested that you will spend more time wrestling with the camera than with the bosses. You know, have a harder time taking them down than dealing with the camera. Awesome. Now I remember. Convenient, too! But so far, I don't find that to be the case. The camera is a pain in the ass, yes. Because it's automatically, always automatically moving by itself, or, you know, getting you stuck on walls or whatever. But I have actually worked with worse. And as you all saw with my first fight with Borax. Congratulations, young warrior. <laughs> the woods are much more secure now. But there's still a lot of evil lurking about. If I were you, I'd want to be better equipped before I set out again. Me too. Unfortunately, all the armor in this place shatters after a while. I guess that puts me on equal footing with the bad guys, but... I'm not supposed to be on equal footing with the bad guys. I'm the protagonist. All right, last one. How does it feel to have uh, depth perception again? Perfect. Oh. That's not where I'm meant to be going. No, there's no ladders or anything in here. Now, the water doesn't look very good, all things considered. You know, with the texture just painted on. But again, I understand that it was a PS2 game. This is very stylized. And in that way, it kind of reminds me of, uh... Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. Which is also a PS2 game about, uh... Animal people, come to think of it. Let me just... Bonk. 
How about closer? Yeah. No, I can't get a good shot from here. I'll just use the whole bridge. Fuck it. Wait, young warrior. Too low. I I, I want to thank you for all of our cares. You surely saved us. The woods are safe now. We do not have to hide any longer. Yeah, there were like just like five we hope rats. That you will be successful, and hopefully, the dragon can advise you on how to find Tack. No problem, boys. I'd better set off the chase tack now before his trail is cold. Take care. Awesome. So yeah, given all that, I have to assume it's a boss fight. Hey, we're surely saved now, thanks. Yep, boss fight. This guy really likes ribs, fuck. Oh, Jesus! Oh, I'm standing in what literally appears to be a compost heap. Charming. I don't see one. Piss. What a waste. It's probably out here then. Oh, uh, what's this then? Another bloody rat? I'll show you what for your mangy little. Wait, I'm no rat. I'm a cat. Right. And I'm a snake with a gland condition. Eat smoke, ratty. What are you, stupid? Wait a minute. Uh, I might be too late now, but... Hey! Sounded a lot louder than I was expecting. I was kind of I was starting to think there might be a giant hole behind me. Okay, first thing. That didn't work. At least the loading is fast, huh? Okay, let's go up there. Let me just get these dollar redos. On a side note, you know, someone commented that the thing about the Zhongs is that, oh, there's one apple core in there, I like that. The thing with the Zhang is, is that... I wonder if they're over there. Uh... Oh. I 
I've tried to progress deeper into the dragon's cave many times, but the dragon always stops. You have to be pretty speedy and observant to get past its fireballs. When a fireball touches wood, a burnt cinder is all you have left. I will cancel my expedition now and leave this fa as fair warning to for all the other willful adventurers. Zhu Yan. Oh, thanks, Zhu Yan. Piss drink. Wrong again. Ah, oh, fuck it, I'll just do it now. Yeah, the demon jongs. The, the master described them as, oh, they're made of the dam- the souls of the damned, and... When you destroy them, you release the demon's power for a few moments. Generally strikes me... As someone who's taken out a fair amount of demons in my video series, is <laughs> that, uh... Releasing the power of the demons is usually something I'm trying to stop someone from accomplishing. Similarly, I don't know that I would ever drink something labeled Demon Potion. What's this? Thing? Can't skip this. Another awesome. Bloody red. Skipped it for you guys. What does that mean? Fuck. Mm. Okay, so the obelisks will- Fuck! Guide me on my quest to find the portal. I didn't think I saw it, but just between them, that would be silly. One of them is a different color than the other one. Oh, hey. Oh my god! Look the fuck down! Yeah, even that. It looks like it's his death down there, so... Yeah, okay, let's not jump down there. Oh, so much for that. Wood must have just been shittier in, uh... Julie's time. Zhu Yan? Whatever. Maybe that one's just a different color because of these fucking mushrooms. Trying to see if there's any more obelisks on his side. God fucking damn it! I'm really annoyed by this. And it's actually all because I can't, uh, skip the stupid dialogue in the beginning. Like, it's stupid dialogue that makes no sense on its face. And the fact that it's unskippable every single time.
Okay. I'll admit it. I was starting to lose it. This annoying situation is starting to get to me. So I turned off the camera. I went and took a breather. Well, I didn't really go anywhere, but you know what I mean. And now I'm feeling much better. So we're going to take this from the top of the next episode. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you next time on Let's Play Legend of K. When Demon Portal or no Demon Portal, we're gonna knock some sense into that smug dragon's head. Teach him the difference between a rat and a cat. Later.